ESA and the Ministry of Transportation of the Czech Republic would like to announce that we're starting the ambitious projects part of the Czech National Space Strategy in the autumn of this year. The ambitious projects will be implemented via ITTs on ESA's EMITS system in October this year. We will also be holding a briefing on the 15th of September in Prague in order to brief industry and academia on the details and the scope of the work to be performed. The ambitious projects are intended to bring benefits to both industry and academia in the Czech Republic. There will be two different types of ambitious project, a type D and a type C. Type D activities will be the first to be released with an ITT in October. These are technological missions with a scientific element. The key goals of these types of activity are to improve the cooperation between the science community and industry. Also to promote scientific excellence of the Czech Republic worldwide and to improve the integration capabilities of Czech industry. The scientific topics that are proposed for the Type D missions should not, however, overlap with any current or future planned missions of ESA or those of other space agencies. Type C activities are intended to promote technological and capability development of Czech industries and the more efficient working together of the different Czech industries. Topics of interest could include the provision of satellite-based data services to Czech state users. For both Type C and Type D, the mass and dimensions of the mission that are proposed will be limited by the affordability of available launchers and the allocated mission budget, which should ideally be around 15 million euros. Given the goals of the ambitious projects and the limited funds available, bidders are expected to balance the efficient use of the funds while maximizing the return to the Czech industry and the Czech capability developments. As a guideline, procurements from outside of the Czech Republic should be limited to around 25% of the cost of the flight element. The first ITTs for the ambitious projects will focus on the phase 0, A and B1 studies for the missions that you propose. Each study will be limited to 400,000 euros plus a 10% company contribution. It is the intention to let multiple parallel studies such that an informed down selection can be performed later on. Phase 0, A and B1 of a mission involves a detailed feasibility assessment, costing and planning for the mission. As such, it covers all aspects of the mission and all life cycle parts of the mission. That means the ground segment and data processing, the launch, the space segment, and the payload, but also each of the life cycle stages, the design, the launch, integration, early operations, and disposal at end of life. We're making this announcement now because this is expected to be the most complex project that has been performed in the Czech Republic since the 1970s. As such, the work needs to start now. And we hope that this announcement enables you to start that work, to start thinking about which mission goals that you want to pursue and what teams you should form so that you can come to the briefing on the 15th of September already prepared and with all of your questions assembled. You're also encouraged to make use of the time to start reading literature on space mission design and analysis. At the briefing, we will talk you through the expected program of work and scope of work included in the ITT, the proposal template and how to complete it, and how to submit an ITT. We will also have dedicated one-on-one -on -one sessions with you, should you need them, where we will attempt to answer the key questions and concerns that you've assembled during the time between now and then. These are very exciting and demanding opportunities for Czech industry. And we're very much looking forward to working with you in making sure that they become a reality and meeting you and discussing with you at the briefing in September.